Hey guys, what's up? This is Jay Lynn from the macrodiaries.com. Today we're going to be talking about the find replace function in Excel. And you can use the link below and it links over to my blog to this particular lesson where it's all in writing if you prefer just to read instead of watching a video or if you just want to have it for supplement. Also available there is the actual .csv file right, right here, it's called cleaning up data. And if you want to go ahead and download that, you can follow along with us. So I went ahead and already downloaded it. This is what it looks like when you open it. And the first thing I would do when you get something like this, and just to let you know, you know, these are just the, uh, the presidents of the United States. I found this online. I edited it a little bit to clean up the names because they were really inconsistent, but otherwise I left it how it was, just to kind of give you a real life example of something that is kind of a mess that needs some cleanup because I think that happens a lot in business or just in your uh, own personal pursuits, you know, working with Excel, finding stuff online, it's never as clean as you want it to be. So first thing I would do here, the first thing I, I think I say to do in the lesson is to go ahead and insert a new row and give them some column headers. I think I used, yeah, number, first name, last name, party, and then what I put down here, date entered, date left. This is the date they enter, date they leave office, uh, not the year they get elected. As you can tell, if you're looking at this going, uh, Barack Obama was elected in 08, dude. Uh, yeah, he was, but he didn't take office till 2009. That's kind of how things work. So go ahead and you can do some auto width. Of course, you can use, you can select them and do it that way, but you know, there's only a couple, only a couple of columns there. Control B, make them bold. All right. Now let's see, what's the next thing we say to do in the lesson? All right. So the next thing we notice is these party names, they seem to be wrapped with parentheses. Other than George Washington, I don't know why his was right. Like I said, I downloaded this straight from the internet, this is what you get. Um, so this is kind of a mess. So, you know, there's a couple of ways of fixing this problem. So you walk into work, your boss is like, hey, I got this database of presidents. And I don't know why, but there's parentheses around everything, and I think that's dumb, so get rid of them. Well, here's one way of doing it. Delete, scroll left, delete, enter. But that's a pain in the butt. And yeah, you do, it's only 40 lines, but having to do it with you know, something that had 100 rows, or 1,000 rows, or 10,000 rows, becomes increasingly more impossible, or at the very least, nerve-wracking. So we can use the find and replace dialog. So, find or replace is sort of an extension of the find dialog. So if you do control F, it brings up find. So I could find parentheses and it would find all the parentheses. But I can hit the replace or just to illustrate, exit out of that, hold down control and hit H and it pulls up the replace tab of find or replace. So an extension to the find function and as you can see, I already have it typed in here, but we want to go in and find all the left parentheses. So I'll put the parentheses in. And suppose, you know, I want to get rid of these. That's the, that's the ultimate goal here. But just to illustrate, let's say I, I wanted to replace them to brackets. I could type in a bracket. Now, my word of advice would always be don't hit the replace all dialog right away. Uh, and there's a reason for this because, you know, Excel by default is going to look through your entire worksheet, every single cell that has stuff in it to find this. So if I had parentheses over here and I wanted to keep them, but I only want to change the parentheses in the, in this particular column, in the party column, well, Excel wouldn't do that. It would replace everything. So I want to replace the left parentheses with the left bracket. Next thing I do is select this array, control shift down. I'll scroll back up so you can see more easily. Now I'm going to hit find next. And you can see the first instance it finds is this one right here. 
It says, oh, I found this parentheses. Well, hit replace. Did it do what we wanted it to? I would say yes. So I hit replace again. Do it a couple times just to make sure it seems to be following the pattern you like. And then go ahead and hit replace all. Same thing with the right parentheses. Hit find next. And start in this one you can see because it's highlighted white um, in the program. And hit replace. Do it again. Do it again. It's doing what we want. Replace all. All right, we have brackets. Everything's bracketed, of course, other than these two up here. Um, so now we have brackets, but like I said, what we really want is nothing at all. And this is a good time to illustrate the difference between nothing at all and space. Uh, space is not nothing. Space is is a something. That's just getting a little metaphysical there, but. Let's say I want, instead of my left brackets, I, I go space, 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 three spaces. I'm going to hit find next, and I hit replace. Look what happens. We get spaces right here in this, in this column, or in this uh, cell. We get spaces. So go ahead and undo that. We don't want spaces. Go back into here. Make sure all your spaces are deleted. Find next, replace. And you can see it removed it, and it kind of shifted left a little bit that's just because it's getting literally rid of the bracket and it's not leaving a space there it's getting rid of everything so do that for a few others doing what we want replace all excellent same thing with the uh, close bracket hit replace 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 all all right and in just a few click button clicks Looks like we got everything, bracket and parentheses free. So that should give you a good foundation on sort of how it works. Um, at this point, I believe I have a challenge problem for you. Yeah, so some of the party names contain extra spaces. Find and place these spaces so everything looks cleaned up. So here we see, this is, this is what we want to see as opposed to this, which has extra spaces in it. So your job is to get rid of all the extra spaces, and you can't use this stupid, you know, go in here and edit manually. You have to use Control H. You have to use Find and Replace. So go ahead, try it out, and I'll see you next time where we continue this using, I believe, the concatenate function.